Good afternoon, Warriors. It is Transparent Tuesday, and on Transparent Tuesday, um, I got a, uh, I have to release this, and I thought it was really good because it made me think about things too. So, um, my son Austin, if no, uh, nobody knows, um, is that he does have autism, and I'm teaching him how to read. And the thing is, is that. I had to find a way to teach him to read, and I hope this is doing it because it, I, I don't know, we're, we're still doing the journey. So, but anyways, we were talking and uh, we were doing school uh, yesterday, and he all of a sudden was like, um, Mom, I never had fun at prom. And I was just like, what? Usually I just let him vent because he is a sovereign soul and he does have feelings and emotions and you know he you know he this is a safe place and he can vent out to me all he wants but anyways he was like yeah and, and i was just like you know what i said i usually don't say nothing but i got to say something cuz the holy spirit was like you got to tell him the truth and I looked at him, I said, you know what, you're straight up lying. Like I said, I didn't even know that you were capable of lying. Because with autism, he, he straight up don't have a filter and he, he can't lie worth nothing. And and that that is an awesome gift. <laughs> and um I said, You're you're so lying. He said, No. And like I didn't have fun at all. I just faked it. And I said, You are so full of it. And I said, the only reason why you're even saying that is because that girl that you went to prom with broke your heart. And, you're, and your heart is bitter now. Because remember yesterday we talked about your heart. And, and, he, and I said, your heart is bitter. Your heart is bitter and, it's, it, and it, you're just mad. And I said, just, just, just say it. He goes, yeah, I am ticked off. That's not what he said. But he said, yeah, I am ticked off. And because he was just like, and he goes, and, and I'm ticked off about a lot of things. There's other things that he said. But for relationship purposes, me and his relationship, I'm keeping those details intimate and in between my son and I. But he, you know, he released other things that he, um, is worried about or doubting about and it reminds me um because i had a scripture this morning hebrews eleven six. hebrews eleven six, and it's about doubting and um and that you have to increase your faith and i told him i said um i said baby but you got you got to heal first you got to heal because god wants to bless you he wants to bless you, but this is increasing your faith. You got to heal and you got to allow God to heal your heart. And I, and he asked me if I ever been heartbroken. I said, absolutely. I said, especially in this season, he goes, but you're so strong. He goes, you just like brush it off. Like it's nothing. I said, no, dude, believe me. Um, Heavenly Papa is doing some major work on my heart. And I said, I, it, I'm, I'm still healing, but um, I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting him anymore because I've been um, touched by the Lord. And I know, I know I just have to keep on doing what I'm doing. And, um, and there's healing in this journey. And I said, sometimes you just got to face those fears. Even though you're scared, I said, you got to face those fears. Even if you, um, you're you scared to get your heart broken again or to feel worse, I said, sometimes you, you just got to go through it and, and rise above that. And I said, dude, I said, you got to heal. And um, today while I was doing my little walk and stuff, I, 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 I prayed for my son. I, I was just like, both of them, actually. I said, um, Lord, I said, I know. I know you have your heavenly hands on their heart and I in their minds in their um, souls and I said I said I know he they both need healing 
and it's okay and it's all a journey and it's going to take time and then um in my devotional this morning it says um as believers it's normal to have doubts and i was just like when i was um doing my um workout and he was telling me exactly what to do i was just like i ain't doubting you i'm like i don't know like how how i'm gonna do this but i have faith that i'm gonna achieve this and i was just like you know what when i read that i was just like you know what that's not in my vocabulary like yeah i know i'm human and i have feelings and 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 i might question things but you know what when you have God in your heart and all of your heart, not just like some of it and, and, and just enough to heal over this um, heartbreak or whatever or illness or whatever you're going through. Yeah, it, you know, like you may have doubts or whatever, but using it as an excuse that you're human and you're going to have these feelings or doubts or whatever that's just like a setback and you know like I, i'm i'm not trying to be mean or anything but i took that as a setback you know what i'm doing all this hard work and i told him too you're doing all this hard work with reading and everything and i said i congratulate you because you're trying and i said you know what god is pleased with that and you know what as long as you keep on going and I said, and don't give any excuses. Don't give any excuses. And I said, um, I said, but you need to heal. I said, you need to heal. And I said, the pity party stops. I said, I love you. I, I mean, I love that boy. But you know what? Why are you giving so much power to someone that is dealing with their own stuff and i told him straight up i said you know what some people they they they're so hurt inside and and um they they uh seek out other people and sometimes they're not awake and they they are putting they're projecting their hurt on someone else but when you are um living in the spirit and you know that you're hurting and you need to heal you can't like you can't be with somebody you can't be in that relationship you can't um receive the blessings that god has for you you have to wait until you're healed and because he wants to bless you when you know that that he's all all in your heart not just half of it I mean, would you want to be in a relationship with someone that just halfway loves you or cares about you or even respects you? No. You want it all, all in or nothing, <laughs> you know? And that's where a lot of things happen because a lot of people, they're not healed from their past and they're projecting it on others. And you know what i'm just indulging this opportunity to heal and and hearing him say those words it like it made my heart hurt but that's how he feels and i respect how he feels but i also respect that he needs to heal he really does and i told him i said only jesus can help you but only you only you um, if you really want to be healed and if you want to um, have a, um, a relationship of love and respect and like something different, I said, you have to rise above that and allow God to prepare you and um, heal you from um, other people that have hurt you because honestly, they don't know. They do not know. They don't know. And they're projecting that on you. But you are responsible for your healing. And I and I straight up told him. And he was just like, you know what? You're right. And I said, I said, I, I, I'm not looking for to be right or wrong. 
I just want my baby back. And I said, and he said, you know what, Mom? I love you so much. And he goes, I'm not going to allow um, that hurt to um, block me from um, telling you how much I love you. And I said, you know what? You're right. It's okay. So, you know what? I, I don't doubt God <laughs> right now because there's too many blessings and lessons that he has awakened me to. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And that was Transparent Tuesday. God bless.